فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافاتي وتنهل من روبا الخير So my beloved brothers and sisters only after that in the next verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the women وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُوجَهُنَّ وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا Amazing verse. Similar wording. Allah says, and then tell the believing women to lower their gazes, to protect their modesty, their chastity, and to conceal their beauty. This is a verse of the Quran. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking to us. Verse number 31 of Surah An-Nur. And this is why we say, my brothers and sisters, we need to know, we're talking about saving ourselves. To save yourself from the calamities of this earth, you need to cover yourself modestly. If you don't, the wrong people may be attracted to you and your life may turn upside down. Say you're happily married. And you go out on the street and you go out into the mall and you're showing every droplet of your beauty. And there is a wealthy man or a mischievous boy or anyone else and they start becoming obsessed with you. They follow you. They stalk you. They harass you. They trouble you. What might happen? You might incline or you may not incline. If you incline, it spells disaster. You have a wonderful husband. You have a beautiful home. You have lovely children. But... Shaitan will come and make beautiful that which is haram because it is outside of the fence. You can be having the best mangoes, but when you see the tree next door, for some reason those mangoes look brighter than the ones in your basket. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Don't let that happen to you. Mangoes are mangoes and the man will go. <laughs> okay, that was just off the cuff, by the, by the way. But it's a reality. You cannot allow the man to come. You have to let him go in the sense that you need to realize who you are allowed to let into your closed circle and who from a distance, there's just a greeting, if anything. You need to know this. So if you are to show and expose, it is going to affect people. I know people might say, well, I'm free to do what I want. Well, that's the way people look at it, but there is a price to pay for it. So it's okay. Do what you have to, but remember there's a price. If you want to pay the price, well, we told you about the price. You're going to probably be paying about $10 million, for example, in loss. And uh, it's okay. If you can afford that, go and enjoy. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. A mu'min and a Muslim realizes, you know what? The price to be paid is too severe. I lose my family, lose my children, lose a lovely spouse. And this goes either way. It's not just for women. It's for men as well. You know, sometimes, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. Sometimes we want to show off everything we have. Showing it off. Yes, a man perhaps might be a little bit more public sometimes, but no excuse. Women also have a role to play in community and society. That role shall be played respectably and respectfully. And the clothing in both cases will be modest. Not only that, the way you speak to one another should be respectful. Not everyone is after that which is immoral. No, there are a lot of clean people out there. There are a lot of people who might speak to you in the best possible way without bad intention at all. Subhanallah. But sometimes when we are dirty in our minds, we think everyone else is dirty. That is also a sickness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. So if a person exposes their beauty, there will be a price that they perhaps would pay. We need to understand that that price we may not be able to afford it. It might be so expensive that we become socially bankrupt. That means we lose everything in our social circle. It can happen. It has happened. And only later on do people realize.